Let's Chat. Happy Monday and welcome to Let's Chat. Miss Kay, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Chip's off this week, so I'm filling in a little bit this mm -hmm. week. Hey, what's going on with this? What's this we Ooh, see right here? I've got a nice little mirror ball. So, wow. as everyone knows, you know, I've been doing Dancing with the Stars. The event was Saturday night, and uh, for some reason, they decided to award me with the Best Dancer Award. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so we have a couple photos. Yes. Uh, we brought those in. It was a great event. Of course, mm -hmm. there, that's uh, in the costume after awards ceremony. You look beautiful. They Thank you. And my partner, Cam, we did a quick step, um, which is very difficult, <laughs> or at least to me, maybe not others. Um, but it was a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of the Okoye region, specifically the Bitten Unit this year. And believe it or not, this is our amazing group of dancers and partners. We were able to raise over $47,000 wow, for is this a lot unit. Of money. Wow. That's Absolutely. Awesome. And so they average about 100 kids a day. We're trying to build them a new gym so they can up their average to 200 because we do have about a 50 to 60 kid waiting list. Wow. So this is going to make a huge difference. Um, that's the whole group there. Everyone did so good. Uh, of course, Greg over uh, on, on our friends over there, he actually won the Judge's Choice Award. He had the most entertaining dance of the night. And then we also want to give a huge congratulations to Roy Thompson Jr., who was the overall Mirrorball winner. Um, he, the overall Mirrorball winner was whoever raised the most money. He alone raised over ten thousand dollars for wow, the club. That's yes, amazing. so huge that's congratulations amazing. and thanks to him. Um, of course, all the dancers and everyone who attended. That total does include the ticket sale total as well. It so, was a fun night, though. What was the most fun experience over all of this? Because you've been practicing for a long time. Yeah, so we've been working two to three months on this. It was just seeing everyone else dance. You know, it's natural kind of for me to be a performer, kind of being on air, but seeing everyone else who maybe doesn't take to the stage, you know, get out there and shine. Well, that's amazing. Over forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. That is so much money that's going to stay right here in the Tennessee Valley. Oh wait, here's the dance, Jess. Yes. Tell us a little bit about this. Okay, so this was our quick step. Um, we did it to Princess and the Frogs, Dig a Little Deeper. The whole night was Disney themed. So we had Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, 101 yeah. donations, everyone. So it was great. The live stream link is still available on Facebook, Boys and Girls Club of Koi Region, if you want to go watch the whole show. Really awesome there. You did a great job. I could never do that. Thank you. Very talented. Fine. You must have a really <laughs> good dancing background there. I, I, I have danced since I was three. Wow. Not this style, but I, I could at least find the beat. So <laughs> How was this different from growing up and dancing? Um, well, I never did a ton of partner work. So dancing with a partner, especially in the close vicinity, um, was kind of getting outside my comfort zone, uh, but it was fun. Well, it was glad. different. I'm glad. I mean, you did a great job raising so much money, and you did an awesome job at the dance. Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> All right, we're going to tell you about something a little unusual right now. There was a bear sighting in Tennessee, and that's that's not a rarity, but this one stands out just a little bit. Now, Hannah Strickland and her boyfriend had rented a cabin in Gatlinburg, and they saw three bear cubs walking around the cabin. One of the cubs decided it wanted to relax for a little while. So it decided to hop in a hot tub for a quick soak. Now, once the cubs had cleared out, Strickland and her boyfriend covered the hot tub to keep the furry friends from returning. And she says it was the couple's first trip together, and the sighting will help them make it even more memorable. Wow.